Welcome back to the Unknown Angler. Uh, today we're going to tie a shot tippet on a fly. Um, I've chosen a little game changer here. Uh, are usually anywhere from 50 to 100 pound test. Um, 30 pound test is fine too. Uh, I'm using fluorocarbon today. I'm using 50 pound cigar carb fluorocarbon for my shock tippet. And I'm going to be using 16 pound for the tippet. So thing we do is tie a figure eight knot. So just make a loop and go through the loop twice. Once, twice. And then cinch it up, but don't pull it real, real hard. And you'll get that nice figure eight. Looks like a beauty. Then you take your fly and you take the tag end and you put it through the eye of the fly. And you take the other end and you put it through where the tag end comes out of the knot and you then flip it over and you put it through the base side right there and now what you have if you've done it correctly you should be able to slide that knot right up against there what I like to usually do is take a pair of pair of pliers, grab a hold of the end and give it a good pull. And what that'll do is it'll cinch that right down in there, um, causing what looks like a two-turn knot right at the fly. I'm going to flip it over again so because I'm, I'm right-handed. I have the fly in my right hand now. I'm going to make a loop again with the with the tag end on both lines and now I'm going to go around through the loop over the top of the outgoing line and I'm going to do that twice too. Once, twice. I'm going to pull on that. I'm going to pull that knot down a little bit. And now what I have is I have another figure eight knot tied at the, tied at the other end. You can take a hold of that with a pair of pliers. I'm going to pull on that a little bit, not real tight. I'm going to take and I'm going to pull on the pull end. And what that's going to do is it's going to cinch that down, turn that into a very nice loop knot. Now, the one thing I forgot to do there, which I just did, is I forgot to snot the knot. Always always take and spit on that knot and it'll come a lot tighter. And if you pull it and it's a little bulky, you can always pull on that tag end. By the way, I have a hook in my hand and I'm yanking on this with a pair of pliers. So try not to slip here. Um, you really don't want that hook in your hand. Take a good strong pull. Now your fly is very nicely connected with a loop knot and that loop knot by the way is a right angled loop knot so it comes straight out. Great. Now you have your fly connected. What are you going to do with the other end? We got to hook that up to some 16 pound test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a figure eight in that. So once again, I'm going to make a loop once, twice, pull it down again, nice figure eight. Going to take some 16 pound test, got some, uh, what do I have over here, rear saltwater fluorocarbon, 16 pound, which I'm going to use for the other end. Okay, so I have my figure eight knot and my 16 pound fluorocarbon. And you see where this tag end right here comes out of the knot? I'm gonna go right back through there with the 16 pound fluorocarbon. And I'm gonna come out and go right back through the other knot, through the other end of the knot, the figure eight knot, with the 16, just like we did before up top. Then I'm gonna take that Going to make a loop just like we did before. 
Except this turn time, instead of just doing two turns, I'm going to do five. One, two, three, four. Sorry, five. And I'm gonna pull, gonna pull on the 16 pound on both ends of the 16 pound so it cinches that knot up a little tighter. And then I'm gonna take a pair of pliers again. Don't slip on this one because you will jam that fly that's on the other end of this right into your hand. I'm gonna pull with a pair of pliers on this, and I'm going to cinch down that that 50 um, that uh, 50 pound knot. Then what you do is you you snot that, and then you pull those two together, and you give a good hard tug. And what that gives you is a very clean, very nice knot. That's all there is to it. We have a clean five turn uni knot with a two turn uni knot with the 50 pound test. You go up here to your fly. And if I can, if I take that off, I've got about 12 inches between the fly and the, um, and the tippet now. And you don't need any more than eight to 12 inches of uh, shock tippet. Um, the good news is you fly fishing, you're not bait fishing, which means that uh, the, the fly shouldn't go down that deep in their throat. Anyway, that's how you tie a shock tippet. See you next time.